Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder Ariel Dunlap Jr. Coming up to you with the only. My God, I do mean the only. The only unadulterated, infallible, uncompromising, written word of God, which is this. Nothing else. Nothing else. This is the only doctrine right here. This is the only true doctrine right here. Not so handbook. Not so bylaw. Not so constitution. But this. I see Dr. Delvin Manning. God bless you. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. We greet you today. We hope and pray that all is well with you. <clears throat> and if it's not, Jesus makes you well. All you need is Jesus. All right. This is question and answer session, and as I say so often, feel free to ask your question. Ask your question. Even if we welcome your criticism. <laughs> My God, we welcome that. We, we welcome your rebuttal. We, 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 we welcome your, uh, your critique. Bring it all in. We'll straighten you out with the word of God. Come on, you'll get straightened out with the word of God. We want to answer this question, and, and let me say this, let me say this too. Let me say this. On my friend list is a lot of elders, pastors, bishops, apostles. And I know a lot of them personally. I know them personally. Some in my church, some are in the uh, uh, district and jurisdiction. And I know personally many on my friend list, bishop, apostle, elders, evangelist, whatever. I also know, and then for the benefit of your Facebook, I also know that a lot of them I know personally, even in my church, they teach contrary to the word of God. They teach contrary to the word of God. Yeah. Yeah, I know them personally. Some in my church, they teach contrary to the word of God. But, to their credit, they have not and will not come on here and say what I'm teaching wrong. To their credit. Why? Because they know I'm telling the truth. Because I'm telling this. <laughs> do, do you think... <laughs> But anyway, I didn't want to throw it out there. But, Apostle Curtis, yeah, God bless you. But, the question that was asked, since we make clear with the word of God, since we make clear, you know, you know back in the day, Apostle, I know you know, back in the day, What was right and wrong depended on what the pastor said was right and wrong. If they said wrong and wrong, depending on what is in the Bible or not, if they said wrong and wrong. Well, we don't do no mess like that. We only call right and right and wrong and wrong according to the scripture. <laughs> but the question was, since we make clear, and my God, we do with the scripture. Since we made clear for this false doctrine, 
whore is a false prophet. And we call false prophet by name. And I dare not start calling that because I, cause I will miss a lot of them. But see, we make clear what is false doctrine, what is false prophets. And the majority of what we see is false. Since we make clear false doctrine and false prophets, the question was, okay, where do we tell the folks, the people, to go and join themselves to? What ministry or what church or what body do we tell the people to go and join themselves to? Good question. Easy answer. Do not join up with false prophets and false and the body of Christ, the body of the devil that preach false doctrine. Join up with nobody that believe, practice, and preach false doctrine. Don't join yourself to them. Join up to no I don't care if you got church of God in Christ on the door. Don't you join them if that body, if that body teacher trade I say the body. If the body teacher trade to the word of God, don't you join them. It's false. But I can't I, now I can say this. I can say this. I don't say like that you say Apostle Allen. That you say, join somebody's church. Go to church somewhere. No, don't go to church somewhere. You only go to the true church. Maybe that was, that was maybe I'll turn the apostle out. <laughs> you only go to the true church that believe the word of God. You go to the true church that believe in repentance. And preach repentance and remission of sin. You go to the true church that believe in living holy, free from sin. You go to the church that believe in keeping Jesus' commandment. Jesus never told nobody to sin. Okay? You go to a church that don't glorify sin, that don't pacify sin. Well, eh? well, ain't nobody without sin. That's the wrong church. That's the devil. That's the devil's church. That's the devil's church. We are well, saints sin. That's the devil's church. See, they glorify and sin. None righteous, no not one. That's the devil's church. You go to a church that believe in living free from sin. That believe in living holy. That believe in the word, every word of God. You go join yourself to the body that believe living free from sin. Sal that salvation come through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ by faith, repentance and remission of sin. Your sins is washed away through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, by faith. You come to Jesus Christ by faith. Ask Him to wash your sins away. Ask Him to save you. Save me, save from sin. You join yourself to that body. One person is not the church. I need to say that. Your pastor is not the church. That's one person. Uh-oh. Sometimes the pastor backslide. But the body is still intact. I know of cases. Pastor backslide. He gone the way of money. He ain't preaching nothing. But the saints, the body, is still intact. Believe in living holy, free from sin. Don't believe in suit saying and witchcraft and playing money games in the church. The body is still intact. Though the pastor of that congregation 
have went the way of money. But the body is still intact. And we're given instructions on what to do with that pastor. Let him be a curse. But the body is still intact. Is that because the pastor believes something? Don't mean the body believes it. God body don't follow the pastor. God body Jesus, body follows Jesus. I need to say that. Go to a place that believe in salvation, repentance, remission of sin, where re repentance, remission of sin is preached in his name. It comes through Jesus, repentance, remission of sin. You must repent. Go to your team to repair your sin. Stop your sin. Turn from your sin. Turn to Jesus. Call Jesus to save you. Believe him to wash your sin away. Believe his blood to cleanse you from all sin. Make you righteous by faith. Not by works of the law. No. No. You ain't got to keep no law. You ain't got to do no works of the law. It's by faith. <laughs> I say it works of the law. You ain't got to pay no tithes and offering. You ain't got to uh, uh, keep the Sabbath day. You ain't got to be circumcised. You ain't got to observe no special holy day. It's by faith. Salvation by faith. Now this is important too. You have, you have some groups that believe in living holy and living righteous and free from sin, yet they false and they the Antichrist. Why? Because they don't believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They believe Jesus Christ is Almighty God. They don't believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. They don't believe Jesus Christ came down here. They believe God came down here. Oh, we, we won't straight. Go to First John. Let's serve you. Go to First John. Now, as I said, I want to make it clear. The pastor is not the body. The pastor don't represent God's church. Some do, some don't. Some pastor backslid. But the body is still intact. Let me show you. <laughs> when that false prophet Joel Osteen came to the Holy Convocation last year, the lead, Bishop Blake, approved it. Yeah, he approved it. He was wrong. He approved it. Darren Hyde was on the board. Put the program together. They approved it. The body didn't agree with it. Not the body. They went wrong. Blake went, Bishop Todd Blake went wrong. Darren Hyde went wrong. And the other that approved the false prophet coming, Todd Hall, he, Todd Hall was that sad night here, false prophet. Jake was there year before last. Those that approved that, they were wrong. The body didn't go along with that. The body didn't agree with it. The body spoke out against it. You see what I'm talking about? You, you see now? You see now? We don't care what the pastor said. It was Jesus said. Uh, When David messed up with Bathsheba, the body, the, the Israel didn't agree with that. And God said the word is to straighten them out and let them know you're wrong. When Saul, the king of Israel, messed up, Israel didn't agree with that. God people didn't agree with that. When the scribe and Pharisee got in office, the prophets spoke out against them. The real, the remnant, don't they believe that? You see, you see, them called pastor do something, don't mean that the church backslide, backslid. That means pastor backslid, not the church. Go to 4, 1 John 4.
and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby, here's how you know. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Watch this. Every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Wait a minute. Y'all say he did come in the flesh. Y'all say God came in the flesh. Y'all say they was almighty God. You're a false prophet. You're an antichrist. Watch it. Every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. God Almighty came down. Jesus is God Almighty. You're a liar. You're an What are you? Is not of God. This is the spirit of Antichrist. That's your spirit, Antichrist. You say Jesus Christ didn't come in the flesh, you're Antichrist. You say Jesus is God Almighty, you're Antichrist. Come on. Stay, 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 stay with us. Verse, verse 15. We'll make sure you get you get among the right people. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him. Who is Jesus? Do you preach Jesus is the Son of God? Or do you preach Jesus God Almighty? We just read whosoever confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. God dwells in him. You don't preach that God ain't in you. He ain't in you. I don't, I don't care if he ain't doing no sin. He ain't in you. That's important. Yeah? Do we need to do we need to go another further? Let, 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 let's go a little further. That, oh, that's important. Go back to first John. Let, 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 read with us. Watch this. Watch this. Verse 5. I mean, chapter 5, verse 1. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Watch it, watch it. And everyone that loved him that that begat, loved him that it begat of him. Who begat Jesus? Who begat Jesus? God. God so loved his world till he gave his only begotten son. Watch this. Go to verse 9. I got God, God. Yeah. Verse 9. Well, verse 5. 5 and 5. Who is he that overcome in the world but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe Jesus is God Almighty? If you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God, you, you ain't overcome the world. You ain't even saved. We read scripture. I ain't making nothing up. Watch it. Go to verse 9. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he testified of his son. He that believeth on the Son of God, Son of God. Not Jesus is God, but the Son of God. We read scripture, we ain't making nothing up. Verse 10. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God had not, God have made him a liar. God made you a liar. You don't believe Jesus is the Son of God? God made you a liar. 
Because, here's how you lying, because he believeth not the record that God gave his son. You are a liar. God made you a liar. You say Jesus is God. No, you are Antichrist. You're a false prophet. Some of you didn't know. Now you know. <laughs> you in a church that believes that? I say the church that believes that. Your past can go wrong. But the church that believes that? In their faith, in their statement of faith, they say, we believe Jesus is God Almighty. That's Antichrist. You with the wrong body. That's important. We need to put that in there. How there are some that say, well, believe Jesus. They, they, they say, we believe Act 2 4. Believe speaking to the Spirit, give the other, uh, love not the world, repentance, every mission of sin, but they don't believe Jesus is the Son of God. You are a liar. You are a liar. Now, we need to get that. See, you need to get that straight. You need to get that straight. And, and let me say this. See, you make yourself and you expose, you expose yourself as an antichrist. Some of you, apostolic faith, you expose yourself as an antichrist. In order to explain in order, the, the way you do, in order for you to explain Act 2 today, you denounce that Jesus is the Son of God. You denounce it. For Matthew 28, 19, when you explain that, you make yourself a hypocrite. You make yourself a false prophet. When, 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 when I come along and other and ask you who is the father and you say Jesus, you are antichrist. You make yourself antichrist. You make yourself antichrist. You say the father Jesus, you make yourself antichrist. You make yourself an antichrist. You're antichrist. <laughs> we don't explain no scripture away. Show them. <laughs> Don't explain no script away. I need to put it out there. Don't you make yourself an antichrist? Huh? What well, now? Now that we got that straight. Oh, uh, go to Second Corinthians. What do the body believe? The church is the pastor, not the body. If he say he part of the body, if he say, sometimes the pastor go wrong. Sometimes the pastor brings false prophets up in the church. The body don't believe, the body don't agree with that. And the body speaks against that. 2 Corinthians 6, 14. Be not unleaved with your... See, men have put... See, this ain't talking about marriage here. This ain't talking about marriage. This ain't talking about marriage. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Are you yoked together with unbelievers? Are you the only one saved in your church? You in the wrong church. If you don't want saved in your church, you in the wrong church. If you in the you in the body, you don't want saved. You in the wrong church, and you need to come out. 
Be the honor of your guilt with unbeliever for what fellowship have right with unrighteousness. And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have Christ with, with Baal or Belial? Or what power have you that believe with the infidel? You amongst our believers? If they don't believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, they are unbelievers. If they believe Jesus is God, they are unbelievers. If they don't believe in living, living free from sin, they are unbelievers. If they don't believe in living righteously, living holy, and living by every word, they're unbelievable. If they don't believe in coming boldly to the throne of grace, and not, if they believe in going to the Pope, they are unbelievable. If they believe, if they believe in going to the pastor, they are unbelievers. The pastor can't forgive your sin. We can lay hands on, Lord, forgive they sin. Forgive them, Lord. No, 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 no. It don't work that way. You got to repent. What agreement has the temple of God with our? You among them? The, the, see, and I say it. And I'm going to keep saying it. Sometimes the pastor go wrong, but the body still intact. Pastor go wrong, and you go ask the body. Wait a minute. The pastor said this. You know the body going to tell you? The pastor wrong. All right. Are ye, for ye are the temple of the living God. The church is you. And the congregation assemble themselves together. Watch it. And God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Come out from among. You don't want to say? <laughs> Some of you in false church and you get saved. You got to come out. I was in false church. When I got saved, I had to come out. I came out. I came out. <laughs> it, it, Oh, 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 Apostle, Apostle Adam know me and know what church I came from. <laughs> and know the group we came from that didn't believe Jesus Christ was the Son of God. <laughs> I came out. <laughs> now, before I came out, I questioned them. I said, wait a minute. The Bible say this. You know what they told me? It's a mystery you won't understand. Bye. What church do we tell them to go to? Go, go to the body of believers that believe the word of God, believe, believe in uh, preaching repentance and remission of sin. Hallelujah. Uh, but believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Believe that Jesus is on the right hand of the Father according to the scriptures. Believe that Jesus is coming back again. Believe in hell, fire, and brimstone. Believe in heaven. Believe in living holy. Free from sin. Believe that you don't have to mess up. And if you mess up, get up and repent. Believe in love. Believe in forgiveness. Don't believe in have respect a person. <laughs> do the to it. Do don't 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 plow with the ox and the ass together. Don't 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 mingle the seeds in your God. Don't wear garments of dive of sorts. Yeah, no mixing. Mm. Don't crawl breeze and animals. That was the thing. That, that was the message. Not mixing. <laughs> Where do we tell them to go? Let me make it easy for you. You, my God, you are, you. You go to some church guy in Christ. Go there. Check them out. See what they believe. 
I said, some, I say all. <laughs> Check them out. See what they believe. I tell you what to do. I tell you what to do. You, you know me. Come visit, come visit my church. Join yourself. To the body of believers. Now, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. To the body of believers. No. Everybody that come to 11 o'clock Sunday morning is not believers. No. On a good, on the act, on a good, on a good Sunday, we average about maybe maybe hundred fifty, maybe hundred fifty. That whole hundred fifty people ain't no believers. No. That whole 150 they don't they shout. <laughs> that whole 150 they don't believe. But come join us to the believer. In most cases, watch this, watch this. Well, you know the believer by whether they teach this or not. That's how you know the believer. But in most cases, you will find the believers. And not just on Sunday morning. In most cases, you'll find believers in Bible class and Sunday school. Where the word, where you're dealing with the word. Not just on Sunday morning having a pray, baby. Hope. No, no. I just said that. And sometimes that ain't even true. You have belief. You have all believe in Sunday school. I I go to Sunday school. I have to straighten them out. It it, it it took a while. It took a while. Almost had to pull teeth to get them to well get the leader, so to speak, to to preach repentance. Hey, my God, they falling. The Bible don't say repent. The Bible say they believe. But now they say it. Now the leader said, repent. Oh, they fall it. They, they, they fall it. <laughs> had, had the straight up, had the straight up. I, I straightened one up right in the pulpit. Jesus and God. I, 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 I took it to First John 4. I said, wait a minute. First John 4 said, you're an antichrist. You're a false prophet. Now who is Jesus? My God, when we show him the word, he straightened that up. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Every now and then a false prophet will come to our church. And the body, the body don't agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the body don't agree with it. One, the last one came to our church. I, I, I got out of the pulpit, got in my car, and went home. I don't deal with false prophets. Yeah. The leader of God says is Jesus, not the pastor. And we're going to wake on that later on this evening or tomorrow. Leadership. Jesus is the leader. Your pastor ain't the leader. Jesus is the leader. You didn't know that? Jesus is the leader. Your pastor ain't the leader. Jesus is the leader. And I said sometimes they go wrong. They go wrong. The 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 praying woman in in in, in the in the they be in the convocation every year. She backslid for money. Came out and, and folk and folk came. Ooh, I say I was shocked she did that. I was shocked. And she eighty some years old. The Lord said, "Oh." I think he said the Lord said, what she said? 
I forgot how many she said, but the Lord said to give, look like with $300 or something. Up. The Lord said, Okay, say, I was, look, I was shocked. I've been the only woman all my life. I was shocked. Praying woman. Honey, that, that prayer don't mean nothing if you ain't obeying this. Your praying and fasting don't mean nothing if you ain't obeying this. Don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. I don't care how you can preach. Guy can't preach it out said. About three weeks ago, good, good preacher. Preaching good, preaching holiness. The auxiliary had already said what they wanted. They had already raised all for him before he preached. Then he gonna come back like that, like that fall prophet Marvin Sapp did in the complicated. Then he gonna come back, talking about the auxiliary. Well, you know the auxiliary, this and this and this. And this. And, and, and raise money for wait a minute, we already raised our money. What you doing? See, the after offering, they split with the church. The pastor tells them any extra money you get, you get a percentage of it. And I didn't know that until my pastor explained to us years ago. He shouldn't told me that. Go to the church where they don't, where, 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 where uh, they don't sell no price y'all. The price a price y'all don't mean nothing. It ain't nothing. It's on with the body, with the body. You understand. You understand. That's enough. Repent the remission of sin, live in holy, obey in every word of God. They believe being filled with the Holy Ghost, yet because they believe being filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking other tongues, speaking of others. Not them making nothing up. Uh huh. Join yourself to the body. You know where to find them at. It's not rocket science. You, you know the whole true preachers, the real preachers on Facebook. Contact them and see where they fellowship at. Uh, contact Elder Lawrence. Contact uh, uh, Apostle Adam. Uh, 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 who else on? Contact. Uh, 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 uh. I'm looking at. Oh, <laughs> uh, the one on, on this page. Contact and see where they fell. She been. It's not rocket science. You find a false prophet. You can find all that real. That's enough. All we tell them, don't, don't go to anybody's church. Don't go to no church of your source. You go to, church of, to the church of God's source. The body. Don't worry about all, ain't no organization in the body. Ain't no nomination in the body. None. And, and the world gave the church that turn of denomination. They get that clear. The world named the church denomination. Ain't no... Ain't no nothing in the Bible. Oh, Sister Robinson, AJ Robinson, she preached the truth. I've seen her preach on Facebook. Lord sub many, many preach the truth. Many TD Lawrence, many. It's not rocket science on where to go. Uh -huh. That's enough. That's where you go. You don't go. Come out of false church. You don't want to be that saved. You better come out. <laughs> All right. God bless. That's enough of that. Any question, any comment, feel free to contact us. My God, we will answer every question you have with Bible. We ain't going to get no nomination answer. I will never say the Bible say this, but we believe in no, that's an abomination. You better say what the Bible said. <laughs> All right, that's enough. God bless you. Thank you for viewing YouTube.